Hey there guys and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. In the last part we inserted the regular key and the cold key into the shutdown terminals. Now all that's left to insert is the hot key. So let's do that. Alright then. There we go. And if all things turn out well we have saved the world now. Code accepted. Thingy slides into the desk like the other two did and we did it PAL code number three confirmed PAL code entry complete detonation code activated ready for launch no why Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die now. Wow, I did not see that coming. At all. So... It's been Liquid who's been guiding us through the entire freaking game, pretty much. No oh, crap. Oh, no, not this again. Where's my gas mask? Okay, gas mask. Uh, Let's call Otacon. I think he can probably, like, get us out of here. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Yeah, sure. I mean, we have plenty of time to spare anyway, you know? It's not like that gas is gonna kill us in no few seconds. Oh, well, I guess that was pretty quick. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Wow, you said a few minutes and it only took a few seconds. Props to you, Otacon. You're not as useless as I originally thought. You're not as useless as freaking Nastasha, who hasn't done anything for us at all. Alright then. So, 
guess we need to... Wait, who's that? Let's go check that out. It's Liquid. But why the hell is he shirtless? Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? Oh, you'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well, I must say. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly, with no questions asked? You've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch? Rescuing the hostages? It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be! Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why's that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? <laughs> but I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. He's choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge! You don't even understand this! You, who could kill your own real father! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began! I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Oh, 
unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. You missed your last chance! You'll regret that forever! Metal Gear is going active, and yeah, I mean we've taken on tanks, we've taken on helicopters, but how the hell are we supposed to take on a giant mechanical walking destruction machine that can shoot freaking nukes? Yikes. Yeah, that's more than a formidable opponent. But you know what we're gonna do? Charge! And jump! Yeah, I don't really know where the hell he was going with that, I mean, I was expecting to do like, just run into it and knock it over. Like, what the hell, snake? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Okay, here we go. It's time for the... Time to call Otacon, I mean, he made this thing, he knows how to take it down, I guess. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes. That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that brown plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a ray dome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah. Try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So will that stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it will open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force him to open up the pilot seat. Right. If you can shoot a missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. More like a weakness. People and weapons just aren't very appealing without a weakness of some kind. Don't you think? Uh, I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Ooh-wee, it's a good thing he built in that weakness, otherwise we would be so screwed. Now, let's, uh, whip out the stinger. That big-ass thing over there, the ray dome, just shoot the crap out of it, and... get the crap shot out of me at the same time. Oh god, those are explosive barrels. Those would not make appropriate cover. So yeah, pretty much what you do is you run around, 
dodge the missiles, he shoots at you and just shoot him with your own missiles when you have the chance. Crap, that wasn't the Ray Dome. Roll, roll, roll! Yikes. Okay, I need to aim better because that last shot was... Well, I don't know what it was. Aim better, but... Oh, crap. Yeah, those things don't make good cover at all. Oh, hey. We're out of his range of line of sight. No, the Ray Dome, yes. There we go. Well, this fight is actually not that hard. I mean, we're like halfway through already. Yeah, crap, crap, crap. I need a place to hide. Why is there no place to hide around here? I need to get out of his line of sight. It's kind of hard because, hell, it's a closed room and it's a big-ass robot. And it's not making it any easier. Okay, I guess we'll just have to rely on sheer luck. And rations. A whole lot of rations, so let's go pick up a new one. Come on. There we go. Alright, Stinger. Let's do this. Nope. Aim for the Ray Dome. Damn it. What did I hit anyway? Like his crotch rocket or something? Some kind of gun he has between his legs? You know what? It's a robot, right? Or at least it's a mechanical thing. So, chaff grenades should shut it down temporarily. Right? So, Stinger... Wait, it's still moving, but I guess maybe I jammed its radar or something. I mean, it's jamming my radar, so technically it should jam his as well. And crap, that thing also has machine guns. I don't think putting down a Playboy would really distract him that much, so we're not gonna bother with that. Stinger, come on, aim for the Ray Dome. Damn it, lock on the frickin' Ray Dome. You're not really helping me here. Frickin' missile launcher. Crap. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Get the hell away from the explosive barrels. Okay, what do I do? Stinger, come on. Don't aim for the crotch gun. I mean, we can shoot that thing in the nuts all day, but it's probably not gonna do much to it. And Otacon said it had impregnable armor. Huh, maybe we're safe out here. Or maybe not. Crap. Okay, how about if we just run behind him? Maybe then we'll lose him. Like if we walk underneath. Yeah, maybe that works. Sweet. He lost us. Okay, and apparently he's turning around, so if we can just wait here until he like turns around and already whip out the stinger. No. Target the bloody ray dome. There we go. Nice. Should be like only one more hit and then he's dead. Or at least the ray dome will be destroyed. Oh crap, crap, crap. Where the hell is he going with that? Yeah, I'm walking underneath your leg. What are you gonna do about it? Sweetie lost us again. This has potential. No, turn around the other way. I can't hit the ray dome like this. Although, what am I locked on to now? Is that... No, that's not the ray dome. That's that weird gun thingy. But that's sure as hell the ray dome. We did it, I guess. The ray dome's blown up. And I don't think Liquid's gonna be very happy about that. So, let's watch the cutscene. Did that do it?
go. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! Naomi, she's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi... You are the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. Oh, I felt so bad. And I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. I was the one who did it! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Royal Harriers! Fox! How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Now, fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in front of you, 
I can finally die. After Zanzibar land, I was taken from the battle, neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. We're not tools of the government, or anyone else! Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at! But at least, I, I always fought for what I believed in! Snake! When death is entreated, the battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. We'll see about that liquid in the next part of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Thanks for watching, bye bye.